Hi and welcome to Sheen Cuisine. Today we're going to do chicken with stewed tomatoes. It's a simple meal. It's something so simple that even people like Randy and Bronco can get this done on their own. They wouldn't need any help from anybody else. All you're going to need is some chicken. I use chicken legs. And a big can of stewed tomatoes, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of soy sauce, and oil to cook it in. Now I haven't gone over the cooking of the rice. Obviously that's done ahead of time. And we're also gonna have some frozen vegetables, probably peas if I can find some in the freezer with this. So we're gonna get started. Hopefully we can do this all in one take. Not likely, but we'll start. First off, you'll need chicken legs. I use chicken drumsticks with the backs attached, thighs, and just separate them all. Put them into a bowl that's big enough to hold it all. Dark soy sauce. Not that wimpy stuff. We're just going to coat it. That should do. Do this on a plate, a flat surface, and roll it, but you probably end up with flour all over the place. Um, I'm a crew of one. At this point in time, any mess that I make, I'm responsible for cleaning up. So we're not going to make any, hopefully. Salt. Not too much because you put soy sauce in it. Pepper. That's pretty much it. The stewed tomatoes I'm going to use are uh, spiced already. So they're Italian spices. It's for that Italian part of me. Okay. Coat it with flour. And just toss it all around, try and get flour on all sides of the chicken. It's going to help seal the juices in. All right, there we have it. The chicken's ready to go. We're going to just smash some garlic up. And that's it. We're going to put this in the pan and then we're going to move all the cameras and we'll show you how it cooks. All right, I'll be right back. We've warmed up a pan. It's sitting on medium-ish heat. We're going to add some olive oil to it. While this is warming up, let's talk kitchen safety again, because you can't be too safe in the kitchen because I'd probably say beside, between the bathroom and the kitchen, this is where most of the accidents are going to happen. I don't know if you can see it or notice it, but anytime I have a pot or a pan on the stove, the handles are always in. I don't know how many times I've seen people leave the handle sticking out like that, way outside of the edge of the stove. Somebody walking by can just catch it as they're going by, and then you've got a tremendous accident. So, that's my safety share for today. Once the oil is reached temperature, and you don't want it to be too hot. This is a meal that's not going to cook in five minutes, so we're going to just set the chicken in. Just like that, and we're going to put the cover on, and we'll be back in a while. Stay tuned. It's been a few minutes. We're going to have a look at these and probably turn them over. The main goal now is to make sure they don't stick.
There you go. It's probably going to take turning a few more times too. Probably every five, eight minutes. And again, you don't want it to burn and there's nothing worse than the skin comes off as your chicken. I hate when that happens. Okay, stay tuned. We'll be back. Well, we're back. It's been another few minutes. We're going to switch to a spatula and make sure that these are not sticking and give them another turn at the same time. And we'll let them go some more. It's time to give them another turn. I'm going to go back to the tongs because they're not really sticking. It's much easier with tongs. Well, it won't stick as much. And they're coming along quite nicely. Five more minutes, another turn, and we'll be good to go. That was the microwave too. It's doing the green peas for dinner. And we're also going to have just white rice. And if you missed my first episode, which was uh, the beef and tomato one, I'm also making my favorite, which I don't know. I think it goes with this meal. Some people don't. I do. Chinese sausage. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, it's time for one last turn. Enough of that one. While we turn them to the front side up, we can also just kind of pork through them and make sure that any juices that come out are clear and not red and stick it in the medias part, of course. They appear to be pretty good. It's time to put the stewed tomatoes in. Dump the whole can. So I'm using, well, diced tomatoes with Italian spices. Whatever you can find, drop it in. Just let that settle in. And let that simmer up again. So we're almost done. Okay, we're probably done right now. One thing that you can do is you'll notice that there's a bit of fat floating on top of the uh, whole meal right now. That's the fat that's come out of the chicken, plus whatever came from the olive oil that we put in. You can spoon it, scoop it off if you want. Uh, probably recommend to do that, and then you'll be ready to serve. So, we're going to do that. I'm not going to put you through watching me spoon fat out of a pan and then we'll be eating this so it's chicken with stewed tomatoes one of my favorites just about everything I cook is one of my favorites enjoy <laughs> <laughs> 